Hello, I am back once again to discuss about chapter number 3, Discovering Tech, the saga continues. You are watching Raj Tutorial channel. We will begin with page 25, second last paragraph. Second last paragraph. Amen Hotep III, Tut's father or grandfather, was a powerful pharaoh who ruled for almost four decades at the height of the 18th dynasty, dynasty's golden age. So in this paragraph, the writer talks about grandfather of Tut. He was Amenhotep III. He was a powerful ruler of Egypt. He ruled for four decades and that was the golden age. His son Amenhotep IV succeeded him and initiated one of the strangest periods in the history of ancient Egypt. So his son was Amenhotep IV. So after Amen Hotep, after Amenhotep III, Amenhotep IV came into power, and he that period that his ruling period was the strangest period in the history of Egypt. The new pharaoh promoted the worship of Aten, the sun disk, changed his name to Akhenaten or servant of the Aten. Now, when he came into power, he started worshipping the new god that was the sun disk. Okay, the worship of worship of the Aten, the sun disk. And he changed his name also from Amenhotep IV. He gave, he named himself as Akhenaten or the servant of the Aten and moved the religious capital from the city, old city to the Thebes to the new city of Akhetaten. So not only he changed his name and started worshipping the sun disk but also he changed the capital, religious capital. From the old city of Thebes it was taken to the new city of Akhetaten known as now known as Amarana, okay, Amarana. He further shocked the country by attacking Amun, the major god, smashing his images and closing his temples. So not only he attacked, uh, not only he changed the cap uh, religious capital, but also attacked the previous god previous god that was Ammon. He smashed the major images and he closed the temples where Ammon uh, uh, worship was taken place. Okay. It must have been a horrific time, said Ray Johnson, director of the University of Chicago, Chicago Research Center in Luxor, the site of ancient Thebes. The family that had ruled for centuries was coming to an end and then Akhenaten went to a little wacky. So that was a horrific time. Uh, the whole scenario got changed when this Amenhotep IV came into power. He changed his name. He started worshipping Aten. He changed the religious capital. He smashed the uh, temples of their previous god that was Amun. Okay, so and later on what happened? Later on this ruler, he went little wacky. He became mad. He became little crazy. Okay, wacky means crazy. After Akhenaten's death, a mysterious rural name, Saman Khakre, appeared briefly and ex exited with hardly a trace. So after Akhenaten, Salmon Khakre came to as a ruler. He ruled for a brief time, for a short time, and he disappeared and with any trace. No trace was left. So no record of this ruler was left. Okay. And then a very young Tatan Khaten took the throne. King Tut and that was King Tut. So here we get the full name of King Tut that is Tutankhaten. Okay. As he is widely known today, the boy king soon changed his name to Tutan Kam Kanaman. Tutan Kaman. 
okay so according to the previous god that they were he worshiped like living image of aman so he gave his name he changed in uh, related to the god to whom the people worship therefore now he brought again the good days in the country in egypt as the things were destroyed at the scenario was changed by uh, akhenaten therefore now he is trying uh, in after when he came into a power he recovered he all those things okay all those things and oversaw a restoration of the old ways so the old things were old ways were restored he reigned about for about 9 years and then died unexpectedly nobody expected that he would die so soon he ruled only for 9 years and very mysteriously he died regardless of his fame and the speculations about his fate that is one mummy among many in egypt how many no one knows the egyptian mummy project which began an inventory in late 2003 has recorded almost 600 so far and is still counting so nobody knows how many mummies are buried there in egypt till now uh, according to egyptian mummy project uh they had counted till 2003 600 mummies there and they are still counting the next phase scanning the mummies with a portable ct machine donated by national geographic society and siemens its manufacturer king tut okay so now the probing is still going on through ct machine which was donated by national geographic society and siemens okay King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned so his mummy was a first to be scanned through this computed tomography in death as in life moving regally ahead of his country men so not only in his life but also in his death he was ahead from other people of his country so he was always a royal so ct scan is also a standard thing standard test which was done first a very first on tuts mummy a ct machine scan the mummy had to to created 1700 digital x ray images in cross section tuts had scanned in 0.62 mm slices to register its intricate structures takes on airy details airy details means very horrible details when the picture came cross section pictures came they were very frightful okay really and they seem to be very supernatural not real in the resulting image which touched entire body similarly recorded a team of specialists in radiology forensics and anatomy began to probe the secrets that the winged goddesses of a gilded burial shrine protected for so long so the team of radiologists for um all those uh, specialists had come those who read the human body those who do forensics those who do radiology they all gathered there all these specialists they started working to probe and to probe the secrets of that wing goddesses uh, uh, that wing goddesses has blessed that man that tut to survive so long there okay so they started examining the secrets of his death and the reason of his death about his age also the night of the scan workman carried tut from the tomb in his box so the night of the scan the night then finally the night came when the body was scanned so workman they carried the tut from the tomb in a in his box like pal bearers they climb a ramp and a flight of stairs into the swirling sand outside what a pal bearers means one who carry coffins so like pal bearers they carried the body they took it from the ta- uh, ramp and then they climbed few flights of stairs into the swirling sand outside and outside the wind was very angry the scene was very horrible it was a dusty storm because 
after many years the body was again disturbed okay that was against the nature then rose on a hydraulic lift into the trailer that held the scanner so they kept the body into the hydraulic lift and the lift took the body into the scanner 20 minutes later two men emerged two men emerged sprinted for an office nearby and returned quick and returned with a pair of white plastic fans so after 20 minutes two men came out from that room and what were they carrying they were carrying a pair of white plastic fans the million dollar scanner had quit because of sand in a cooler fan curse of the pharaoh choked the guard nervously what happened actually the fan of that scanner it was of million dollars very expensive so the fan of that scanner got stuck and because of the sand now the one of the guard who was standing there he what did he comment he said it is a curse of the pharaoh because we had disturbed the body so that's why our such an expensive machine has got broken so they could not continue then what happened let us see eventually the substitute fans worked well enough to finish the procedure then finally another fans were brought and they were helpful to finish the procedure after checking that no data had been lost the technicians turned touch over to the workmen who carried him back to his town so after the whole thing and the, the technicians gave the body of touch to the workman they carried it back to his stone less than three hours after he was removed from his coffin the pharaoh again rested in peace where the funerary priest had laid him so long ago so only it took less than three hours and now less than three hours after less than three hours the body was taken back to the coffin where he had been resting for many years back in the trailer of a technician back in the trailer a technician pulled up astonishing images of touch on a computer screen so technician he pulled up many astonishing creatures of touch a gray had took shape from the scattering of pixels so you know pixel cameras so small scattering pictures of the head could be seen there and the technician spun and tilted it in every direction so they tilted and spun the images in every direction just to read the neck neck vertebrae appeared as clearly as in an anatomy class you had remember that in the previous chapter uh, pages we had read that anatomy professor of anatomy he read and he found out that his uh, ribs and front bone of the chest was missing. We had uh, read it. Huh? So, in this also, in CT scan pictures also, the neck vertebrae, there was a damage, there was an injury in his neck which was revealed in the picture very clearly. Other images reveal a hand, several views of the rib cage, and transaction of the skull. All these things were seen in the image. But for now, the pressure was off. So the pressure was off. Sitting back in his chair, Zahi Hava smiled, visibly relieved that nothing had gone seriously wrong. I didn't sleep last night, not for a second. He said, I was so worried, but now I think I will go and sleep. So finally, they nothing went wrong everything was done successfully they had taken uh 1700 and more than 1700 images and read the body and in different sections and they came out to the solution now zahi have a little relaxed he has now as he have he was not able to sleep for uh last night therefore now he is relieved and wants to go to his bed by the time we left the trailer descending the metal stairs to the sandy ground the wind had stopped so when they left the trailer they were coming down from the metal stairs the sandy ground to the sandy ground the wind had stopped means the nature 
which was very violent was calm now it came to normal the winter air lay cool and cold and still like death itself in this valley of the departed so they were in the valley of in the valley of the kings do you remember children the the body was buried in the valley of the kings so the valley of the kings had become very calm as if it like a death okay so just above the entrance of that storm stood orion the constellation that the ancient egyptians know as the soul of osiris the god of the afterlife watching over the boy king so which who was watching the whole scene who was watching the boy king that that was the orion orion the constellation i hope you might have seen in the sky with um, it is a constellation of seven stars so that orion that constellation was watching over the boy king was guarding the boy king hope you like the explanation children so the chapter provides a deep insight into man's keen desire to know and analyze the roots of our civilization so it teaches how preserve perseverance patience and hard work will help the man to solve the mysteries of the past okay and succeed in life and it also beside this it also says that we should respect tradition and rituals and not follow them superstitiously further the chapter teaches us about the importance of ancient monuments sculptures and their contribution to our national wealth moreover it also says that we should human beings should not uh disturb the nature as we had seen that when tut's body was disturbed by howard carter and by zahi hawas you can afterwards by zahi hawas the nature also became very violent as if the nature and god did not approve to the action of human beings so one should not disturb the natural things let us rest the bodies let us allow the bodies to rest in peace so this is what the chapter teaches us now i end this chapter here hope you liked my video do not forget forget to press thumbs up button and please do send your comments in comment section and i hope you might have subscribed my channel till now okay then bye bye meet you in the next video of raj tutorial